Hey, Rat Riders, Keith Wheeler here back with another video for you. Do you create no content, low content, or medium content books? If you do, then there's a real good chance that you've been losing out on sales and losing money all because you're listening to places like KDP and other print-on-demand platforms. These self-publishing book platforms are telling you that your book is print only, and that's simply not true. There are places that you can sell your no content, low content, and even medium content books on the internet. And this means that you can actually make more sales and make more money self-publishing books online. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you five places where you can sell digital versions of your no content, low content, and even medium content books. So if you're excited to learn more, then do what this guy did. Let me start off by saying that I'm gonna drop links to most of these places down in the description so that way you can get to them quicker and get started selling your books digitally online. So. The first place is Etsy. Most of us have heard of Etsy. It's it's a very popular platform for for creation and for selling usually products that are are handmade and things like that. But you may not have known that there's actually a huge population of people that go there to buy digital products. So whether you want to sell spreadsheets or puzzle pages or coloring pages or whatever, Etsy is a really great platform to consider. Now, I will say there are some downsides. Etsy does charge uh, on per upload, I believe, per item listed. Uh, but again, you can just weigh out the pros and cons. Again, link down in the description so you can learn more about Etsy. And one of the best parts about Etsy is that it already has traffic going to it, very similar to Amazon. Obviously, not necessarily at that volume, but still, people are on Etsy looking for things. And so if you create yourself a store on Etsy, and you can sell your digital versions of your books. And the best part is you don't have to worry about shipping or anything else because it's all digital. The next place I'm gonna talk about is a place called Gumroad. Now, what I love about Gumroad is one, it's absolutely free to use. And two, you actually, yes, you can put pro prices on your products, but a lot of times people don't know what to charge. You can actually on Gumroad charge what's called, what a list is $0. And it actually allows people to put what they want to pay you. And you'd be surprised at what people will pay sometimes. You know, I've put things up for $0 and I've had people pay me 20 bucks for something. Now, granted, that's few and far between. Most of the time, they'll pay you a couple dollars. But again, it's a digital product. It's something that you've cr already created the, the version for your book. So now you just take that same file, that same PDF or Word doc or whatever, and upload it to Gumroad and put the price that you wanna sell it for and if you don't know what to sell it for, especially at the beginning, to get some traction, to get some reviews and things like that, then you can just simply put it at zero and let people pay you what they feel comfortable paying. Again, it's all passive because you already created the product. Now, the third place that I wanna share is a place called PayHip. Now, PayHip allows you to create basically your own online store, similar to what Etsy does, but it's actually a, a lot easier from, from what I've heard as far as using it. I personally have not used PayHip yet. Um, that's on my to-do list, but I, I've heard nothing but positive things, both with customer service as well as with people just using it. And they've used it to sell their regular books, you know, the paper versions, but also to sell digital products. And the one thing about digital products is, like I said, with Gumroad, you already have it created, you know? You don't have to recreate the wheel. You don't have to, you know, create a different version. You literally just sell the version that you already have. Now, people may wonder, why do I want to do that? Why would people buy a digital version? Because people can print things at their own house. You know, they can print it at their house. They can print it at, you know, print shops like, you know, Office Depot or whatever and, and get their own copies. And this way they can reuse it as many times as they want. So actually, from a customer perspective, it works out really well because they can buy it one time from you and print it out as many times as they want instead of having to go back and buy another version. Now, you may wonder if you're eating, you know, biting yourself by creating the digital version and, you know, then they won't buy your, your paperback. But the truth is, is if they're on Etsy looking for spreadsheets or they're on Etsy looking for, you know, coloring pages or print, you know, printable versions of puzzles, then chances are they're not on Amazon going to buy your book anyway. And so again, it's just another way for people to find you. And it's another platform, especially if you use the same brand name to get that brand recognition. So if they do find you on one of these platforms, they may look for you on Amazon as well. So again, 
you can get more visibility for your brand and make a couple bucks along the way. Now, place number four is especially for those people who are creating things for educational purposes. I recently did a video where I showed you measurements worksheet generator, but there's also math worksheets generator and all these other things that, uh, these other software and stuff that maybe you're creating educational products. Well, then the place for you would be Teachers Pay Teachers. Now, I'm not saying Teachers Pay Teachers is the only platform. Obviously, you can also do it on Etsy. You can also do it on Gumroad. You can do it on PayHip. But Teachers Pay Teachers is specifically for educational purposes. And so if you have products that are for kids, that are, you know, to teach them things, whether it's, you know, one of the, from one of the softwares that I talked about earlier, or maybe it's, you know, some coloring pages that you do that are educational. You know, maybe you do activity books and things like that that you think would be helpful in a classroom atmosphere, well then Teachers Pay Teachers may be a great option for you to sell your digital products. Now, I actually have a couple things up on Teachers Pay Teachers, not under my own name, on one of my pen names, but um, I used to do it on Amazon Ignite, but since Amazon Ignite closed, and maybe you had your stuff on Amazon Ignite and you don't know what to do with it now, Teachers Pay Teachers is a great option. Now, speaking of options, I've got one more place to talk about, but first, if you're enjoying this content and you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and click that bell notification so you get alerted every time I put out new videos just like this one. And don't forget to hit that like button. That lets YouTube know to share this with more people. And with that, let's get to number five. Number five is probably one you expected me to say, and it's the epitome of your long-term goal for your business. And that is sell it on your own website. When you sell products on your own website, you're not paying, you know, uh, upload fees or anything like that, like you do with Etsy. You're not paying, you know, people aren't taking cut of it like they do with, with Amazon KDP and other print on demand platforms, as well as places like Gumroad. You know, they're going to take a certain portion as well. But if you're selling it on your own website, you get 100% of the profits. And really that, that an email list, that's the real way to make sure that these customers are your customers, regardless of if KDP closes down your account or whatever, it doesn't matter because they're going to your website. Now, I know creating your own website can be scary. It can be very overwhelming, but just know starting out, you don't need a big, huge, epic, multi-page website just a single landing page where people can go, maybe sign up for your newsletter and buy some of your books. That's all you really need to begin with, okay? And you can do places like Wix, Shopify, WordPress. And even if you have a Gmail account, Google Blogger, you can actually use to create a website for you, for your brand, and really start selling your own products there. Now, obviously it's not gonna have the kind of traffic that Amazon has or that Etsy has or that, Shopify has, but it's a great way to start out. So have your author website where people can go and buy your products, but then you can also put it in these other things. So, you know, I talked about five places where you can sell your book digitally, your low content, no content, medium content books in a digital format. But like I said earlier, you don't have to just pick one. You know, I would absolutely suggest everybody has an author website for your brand. Again, it can just be one page. So sell your products there and then also maybe sell it on Etsy, maybe sell it on Gumroad or wherever, you know, do all of these places, do one. It doesn't matter. Again, it's just additional revenue that you can be bringing into your business. And it's going to be, you're going to have to test things out. You're going to have to test out what works best for your particular brand and for the type of no content, low content and medium content books that you're creating. Understand that just like with anything in this business, it's not going to get rich quick. It's not going to happen overnight, but it's a nice slow build. And again, keep one thing in mind, and that is the more places you and your brand and your books are located, the more visibility you have and the more searchable you are in places like Google. You know, if, if someone searches up your brand name and it only brings them to your Amazon page, well, that's great. But what if it brought them to your Amazon page, your Etsy page? your pay hit page, your Gumroad page, and your website. Again, if that's five or six links that they can see when they when they Google you up, there's a much better chance they're gonna click on one of them. And in turn, buy more of your content. And that's what this is all about, right? It's sharing what you're creating, sharing it with the world, trying to make a profit out of it, right? And trying to make a business from it. 
So I hope you enjoyed these five places where you can sell your no content, low content, and medium content books in a digital format. Don't just listen to KDP and obviously you can't do ebook for it. That's fine. But that doesn't mean it's the end. It's the end of your options. There are other places that you can sell your digital versions of your books. Now, if you're really into no content, low content, and even medium content books, then check out this entire playlist that I have that I've done, which is everything from showing you how to do interiors, puzzle pages, and a whole lot more. But if you've already seen that, or maybe you're not quite ready for that yet, YouTube says that this video is perfect for you. So I'll catch you inside one of these videos. And remember to write, right.